Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time on this channel, my name is Vanessa. I make natural hair videos, sometimes fitness and motherhood. So if this is the kind of content that interests you, be sure to click the subscribe button and become a member of the family. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. The amount of love that I've received on my video every single time is so overwhelming. I'm so grateful for that, guys. Thank you so much. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make an amazing dip conditioner, guys. Like This is the dip conditioner that you want to try to reproduce, like legit. The amount of moisture that hopefully you will fill in your hair will be you know, so overwhelming that you're going to be like, wow. When I put this on my hair, guys, it felt so soft. Like I can't even explain it. Like It felt so good. And I just couldn't wait to share this with you guys. Like this is an amazing dip conditioner. Try this, especially if your hair is dry most of the time. Perhaps use it, you know, maybe like, you know, once a week just to give your hair that extra moisture. Like you will not regret it. I hope that it's going to work for you just like it did for me. It was just so good. Like so, so good. So basically the dip conditioner is fenugreek based so but i like to use aloe vera as well i mean if you've been watching my videos you probably would know that i love aloe vera guys so yeah i'm going to use aloe vera as part of the recipe but you don't have to if you don't have it um so if you are using it just like me cut this a small piece basically the amount that you want and then you want to um, remove the sharp edges then then call in the middle use a spoon to scoop the gel out of it just like i'm doing here once you've done that you now want to go ahead and blend it okay i'm using a hand blender here but you can actually use like a normal blender if you've got it um so you blend it to be as smooth as you can it doesn't have to be perfect because at the end of the day we are going to blend the whole thing together so i'm going ahead here adding some fenugreek seed to the mixture um to be honest i didn't actually need to do this because i already had some leftover fenugreek seed from my previous um diys but i just wasn't sure whether that was going to be enough for my hair so i thought i'll make another one so and also i wanted to use aloe vera so that's why i just used a very small amount of fenugreek seed here now i'm going ahead and adding my emerson powder but you don't have to do this again you can skip this step completely um so i just like to do this pretty much so you know your fenugreek seed is ready when it has doubled in size you know it's all soaked up like the juice from the aloe vera and yeah it's pretty much doubled in size so i'll just mix that with my previous you know my leftover from other diys and i blended it okay now i use my old blender like i have a blender that i use for my hair diys you probably have seen it in some of my videos but it didn't really blend it to be as smooth as i wanted um so i'm going to go ahead now and use my actual blender that i use like for the family and stuff just to give it a bit more of a smooth texture but before i do that i'm going to add in some olive oil you can add in or any other oil that you got like you could be just coconut oil or argan oil or anything and then you want to you know go back and blend it again but this time around i'm going to add more water just so uh, it's not as thick as it was before so it's a bit smoother and you can actually see here that i've got a much smoother consistency compared to what i had before um so i'm just going to transfer that to a bowl and then you don't necessarily need to do this again you can just transfer directly onto you know a sieve or something so i'm using here a tea towel to sieve it um you can use like a pair of all tights or i don't know any other thing that you've got available that can you know um strain it pretty much don't do it like me guys i poured all of it on this tea towel because i was literally trying to get it done quickly i was looking for shortcuts okay <laughs> don't do it like me i had so many things to do that day and i was trying to just you know get things done as quickly as i could but i ended up doing it twice so <laughs> don't do it like me okay make sure you do it once and you do it properly instead of like trying to you know 
cut corners and then have to do it again another time so yeah basically i'm trying to save it here as much as i can um obviously some of you know the other mixture was ex escaping because like i said i poured too much um so like i said do yours in like little steps and basically this is what you're going to end up with um probably not like this because this is not like properly safe because i just had so much of it in that in in the thing um so yeah that's pretty much what you end up with if you do it nicely and you don't really want this because it's going to get stuck in your hair to be quite honest even after i did this i don't know if it's because i didn't save my like properly like i said i was trying to cut corners that i still ended up with you know a little bit of the pieces of the fenugreek in my hair um so perhaps if you save yours better you will not have to deal with this okay so but i didn't really mind it because when i went ahead and combed my hair through it, it all came out so it was fine um so essentially i'm just applying that on my hair here my hair at the moment is dry um so you know i just sort of undo my twist spray it with a little bit of water just to you know loosen the hair a little bit more and then i'm just going ahead and adding the fenugreek you know dip conditioner on my hair so make sure that you massage that in nicely focus on your ends because that's the driest part and the oldest part of your hair i'm not putting it on my scalp guys because you know i just didn't didn't want any build up that's another thing sometimes when you've got products on your scalp it's kind of hard sometimes to get all of it out when you're like you know washing your hair the way i do it um so yeah i just didn't want it on my scalp but you can go ahead and put it on your scalp if you want to and maybe get in a shower afterwards um so yeah i'm just pretty much working on my hair in the sections that i already have so i'm just gently finger detangling here and then i'm going to go ahead and spray it with water and then apply you know the mixture quite well like generously on my hair um pretty much just making sure that every single strand of the hair is covered guys so i forgot to say as well if you are looking to get some of the ingredients that i'm using in this video it will be all linked in my description box because i know in the past there has been people who have asked me why where i got my stuff from um so i will just put the links in the description box so if you're interested and you want to purchase them just click on that link these they, they are basically all on amazon um so yeah if you just click on the link it's easier to just get the same products that i'm using pretty much so once I've, I've done with that guys i'm just going to go ahead and twist that section away and then move on to the next pretty much now i am not actually detangling my hair with a comb here um because i'm going to go ahead and detangle properly after i've washed you know the dip conditioner out of my hair completely um i usually find that it's so much easier and you're less likely to get tangles and breakage if you detangle your hair when it's nicely conditioned because you know like when your hair is well conditioned your curls loosen up so it makes it easier to detangle so that's how i prefer to detangle my hair most of the time obviously if i'm doing like a wash day um then i probably would detangle before washing and then i'll detangle again after i condition my hair but if it's just like a normal dip conditioner i mean dip conditioning routine i'm not actually going to detangle i'm just going to just put it there i put put the conditioner on the hair and then you know let it work its magic and then once i'm done with my hair being nice and soft and my curls you know a bit loose it will be so much easier for me to just you know get my comb through without necessarily causing so much friction so i prefer that perhaps you do it this way but again at the same time just do what works for your hair you know um so yeah
guys so I'm just applying the conditioner on my edges here you know sometimes we forget to dip conditioner edges as well and we tend to neglect it so if you're like that please please stop doing it because you know you are actually drying that part of your hair and that's probably why it's breaking so always remember to you know uh, moisturize your edges as well so once i'm done with that guys i'm going to put a plastic cap on um i'm using like just a plastic bag but if you've got a, an actual plastic cap then go ahead and use that um so and then i let it sit for about one hour and then i went ahead and rinsed it off and you can see there how my hair felt i mean my hair was so shiny um it felt really really soft you can see some of the debris of the um conditioner in my hair here um but like i said it didn't really stay in there for too long um so and i didn't really mind it because i was just happy with how moisturized my hair felt I went ahead guys and sealing the moisture in my hair I used uh, my Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner to do this and my um, fenugreek oil to basically ju just sealing the moisture and this is what my hair looks like you can see it's really shiny moisturized and you can barely see the debris that I had in my hair before so it was really good I hope that you try this conditioner guys and if you do don't forget to let me know what you think of it and yeah this is pretty much it for me today thank you so much for watching as always if you like the video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already for some more content and i will catch you in my next one do take care bye